This is a brief history of Deepdale, home of Preston North End. Deepdale is the football ground in the Deepdale area of Preston in England, the home and is home of Preston North End. Deepdale is widely recognised as being the oldest continuous used football ground in the world. But like most coveted historic accolades, it is fiercely contested. For example, Maidenhead United FC have played at their York Road State ground since 1871, but they are not a professional club, unlike Preston North End. The land on which the, the football ground stands was originally Deepdale Farm. It was leased on the 21st of January 1875 by the Towns North End Sports Club and originally used for cricket and rugby. It hosted its first association football match on the 5th of October 1878 as football grew in popularity. It became necessary to have raised areas so the idea of football terracing was formed. In the 1890s Preston built the West Paddock which ran alongside the touchline and a tent was erected to house the changing room. By the turn of the century, crowds were regularly over 10,000, and in 1921 they had to expand again. A spy on cop was built and the West Park was extended to meet the cop end. The pitch was removed to allow which was removed to allow the building of the town end. That sounds silly. Which was completed in 1928 but was destroyed by fire only five years later and had to be rebuilt. The Pavilion Stadium, a relatively small stand of two tiers holding the changing rooms and offices, were built and opened in 1934. The record league attendance for Preston North End at Deepdale is 42,684 uh, and that game was against Arsenal in the First Division on the 23rd of April 1938. During the 1960s and 1980s big changes took place as roofs were placed on the stands, seating was installed and terracing extended. Originally plans for the redevelopment of the football ground were inspired by the Luigi Ferrari Stadium in Genoa in Italy. The regeneration of Deep Dell began in 1995 when the Old West Stand was demolished to make way for the new £4.4 million Certain finish stand, which included press areas and restaurants. The next stand to be developed was the Bill Shankly Cop in 1998, followed by the Alan Kelly Town End in 2001, which replaced the popular Town End Terrace. In 2008, a 25 metre screen was also added to the roof of the Bill Shankly Cop. The old pavilion stand was replaced by the Invincibles Pavilion for the 2008 and 2009 season. Named after Preston North End's team of the 1888-1889 season. Named after the Preston North End team of the 1888-1889 season who were the first league champions. The first team to complete the league and FA Cup double and the only English team to complete a season unbeaten in both League and Cup. The Invincibles Pavilion includes a row of executive boxes and a restaurant which overlooks the pitch, as well as the stadium control room, PA box and big, street, big screen control room, and an NHS walk-in centre has also been built into the stand. Dick Dill is now an all-seater stadium with a capacity of 23,404, which is as follows. The Sir Tom Finney Stand, 7,893. Bill Shankly Cop, 
5,933, 5, the Allen Kelly Town End, 5,859, and the Invincibles Pavilion, 3,719.